we obviously it would be great to talk about Alonso Indy, and you you mentored him when he when he first went there. Um, there's a, there's a two parted question. Anthony Jenkins uh, wants to, uh, to, wants to talk obviously about Alonso, but he asked whether would you agree whether Alonso is currently the best driver on the planet. Um, there was the huge success of his first time at Indy, uh, well, comparatively. And then I'd like to add a second part to the question of, of what happens, what happened this year? Where, where did it all go wrong? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> a lot went wrong. <laughs> I'll start with the negative first, uh, you know. Uh, look, in the end of the day, it's our fault, you know. We, we didn't uh, prepare ourselves uh, well enough. Uh, we didn't execute well enough. And uh, at uh, Indianapolis, you, you pay the price. You know, we, we certainly learned uh, uh, a lot of lessons and uh, some uh, incredibly uh, painful lessons. You know, we exposed ourselves to, to failure by wanting to be there, by, by putting ourselves in, the, in, the, in that position, you know, uh, and, and trying to meet a, a very difficult challenge. And we failed, you know, and, uh, and it was painful. Um, and uh, we we move on. <laughs> uh, we 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 absorb those lessons and uh, we try not to uh, to repeat them. And uh, if if we ever go back, which I hope we will, um, we'll try to tackle the that challenge in uh, in with those l lessons in in mind. And you know. Now to the positive, <laughs> you know, the second part of your, your um, well, the first part of your question uh, regarding Fernando. Look, I mean, the guy is, <laughs> is, is uh, I think he's one of the best drivers that's ever lived, uh, frankly. Um, I mean, it's hard to know because, you know, I, I wasn't around when people like Jim Clark and Fangio were, were, were racing or even uh, Jackie, uh, who, uh, actually, have you been in a car with Jackie or not? No, I haven't. Oh my God, <laughs> it's, 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 it's an experience that is like in, in a different planet. Um, but, but anyway, uh, back to Fernando, I mean, the guy is just, uh, you know, again, incredible feel. Uh, just, is that combination of intelligence, talent, determination, knowledge, experience, everything into one. I always say, uh, you know, sometimes these young guys go around, oh, but I'm really fast. I say, congratulations, you reach level number, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you, you have one ingredient out of a hundred <laughs> that you need uh, to be a successful racing driver, you know. Uh, oh, I miss a big one, emotional control. Um, you know, and, and a guy like Fernando, I mean, he scores, you know, a nine and a half or 10 out of 10 on all of these 100 ingredients, you know, how do you deal with the team? How do you set up a car? How do you control your own emotions under different circumstances? I mean, the, the, the guy is, 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 um, is incredible. I mean, is, I've, yeah, I, I've seen him do things in a in a racing car you know there's sometimes that you know if you're watching on tv and stuff you can't you can't uh, you can't appreciate it you know um but you see things that you go and i'm a little bit arrogant right uh, i thought i was good <laughs> and i go <coughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> that was pretty impressive <laughs>